Instant ramen is the king of quick, cheap, and easy meals. So it's no surprise that the world eats 100 billion servings of these noodles every year. Oh, yum. But when Momofuku Ando created the first instant ramen noodle in 1958, it wasn't a cheap meal. It was a luxury item. How did it go from pricey to affordable? And what inspired Momofuku Ando to make ramen in the first place? Was it Japanese workers? Maybe surplus wheat from the US? Could it be World War II? Or how about a new dehydration process? Keep watching to find out. Instant ramen noodles are foolproof. Some boiling water, a packet of seasoning, and just like magic, you've got yourself a meal. This would not be possible without a special method of dehydration. It's called flash frying, and noodles are steamed, seasoned, and then fried in oil. Momofuku Ando developed this method in 1958. But while flash frying is key to the story, it wasn't what inspired Ando to create instant ramen. For that, we need to go back to 1950s Japan. World War II left Japan devastated, and Japanese citizens struggled with severe food shortages. To help them, the U.S. sent its excess agricultural product to post-war Japan. What did the U.S. have a lot of in the mid-1950s? Wheat. Lots and lots of wheat. So the Japanese government urged its citizens to eat bread. But who wants to eat a plain roll of bread day after day? No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not Momofuku Ando, and not Japanese workers. This is where we find our answer. In the middle of these hard times in Japan, Ando bumped into a long line of workers waiting for ramen. Those who were eating looked warm and happy. This image inspired Ando to create a quick cooking noodle made from wheat the U.S. sent over. At first, instant ramen sold at five times the cost of fresh noodles. Saving time comes at a price. But thanks to their widespread production and the economic recovery in Japan, instant ramen noodles shifted from luxury to affordable food. Momofuku Ando introduced cup noodles to the U.S. in 1971. To boost sales, Ando packaged cup noodles in a styrofoam cup. It became a hit among Americans. Nowadays, they're available in more than 80 countries. And do you know that Japan isn't the largest consumer of instant noodles? Each year, people in China eat 46,350 billion servings. But the Chinese aren't the only ones who love instant ramen. I do as well. Koreans love these instant noodles so much that they serve them in restaurants. And in Mexico, people eat instant ramen with hot sauce and lemon. They also have flavors you don't see in some other countries, like shrimp or cheese. Instant ramen's domination doesn't stop there. In 2005, a special batch of instant noodles was designed with the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, to be launched into space and feed astronauts. They modified the noodles to be eaten in an environment without gravity. The soup was thicker to prevent it from dispersing, and the noodles didn't need boiling water to cook. Instant ramen went from a luxury food to a cheap meal. But do you know how lobster made the shift from cheap to expensive? Find out on another episode of Origins of Food.